Hey, it's Risa G coming in from her cluttered kitchen with another quick holiday snack or food gift. Um, I am going to do a, an adaption of the puppy chow recipe. I know we found puppy chow recipes all over the internet. They're also called Muddy Buddies. They're, you know, the famous you know, uh, cereal website um, that makes uh, mixes the mixes. Um, I, I don't use the real version of the cereal. I find generics work just fine. So I'm going to be making my famous puppy chow. I got the recipe either from the Chex website. No, I got it from Betty Crocker, I guess. They own Chex. I don't know. I got it from the Betty Crocker website many years ago. It supposedly serves 18 or about four of me. Um, and I like to share this with my husband who also likes it because he likes peanut butter and chocolate. Um, Trevor can't eat it because it's nut based and as he says he doesn't really care, doesn't really like those kind of flavors. So it's mainly for us and gifts. So I'm making the chuck, I'm going to make my puppy chow and this is how we do it. Okay, so of course you start with the cereal. As I said, this is generic. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you can buy the big name brand or you can go to Walmart or ShopRite and get the generic brand. It tastes the same and it works the same. All right, so there's nine cups of cereal. Okay, and they say to put it in a bowl and set it aside. So that's what I'm doing. All right, also you have some chocolate chips. Now you'll notice that mine look a little funny. There are a couple that have a little look like there's something wrong with them. That's just a bloom on the chocolate. It just means it got a little cold at some point. Um, it doesn't mean it's old. It doesn't mean it won't work. Right? Nobody will be able to tell once it's all melted. So you melt that in a microwavable bowl. Okay? With your peanut butter. In this instance I'm using a chocolate peanut butter. We're going to see how that works out. Yeah. Chocolate peanut butter, right? Chocolate dreams, right? And some butter, and you'll see I cut it up into little pieces. It just makes it melt faster. Right? Tip, tip, tip. It makes it melt, it uh, melt faster. Okay. I'm gonna put it into the microwave oven for a minute. I'm going to stir it around, and also I sprayed my spatula, and I sprayed the scoop. I sprayed everything with a little bit of cooking spray just to make it easier so that it comes right off, okay? Okay, so we're putting this in the microwave oven, uncovered, one minute, okay? And you can see it's kind of melty. Alright, and it's gotten pretty soft. Now they say to do it again to microwave it for another 30 seconds, which I might have to do. But first, I'm gonna whisk it together and see how much more it needs to melt. Yeah, definitely it needs more. Okay, so it's going to go in for another 30 seconds, and hopefully all the rest of those chocolate chips will be melted. Hopefully, hopefully they'll be all melted. Okay, so as you can see, it is totally melted. Okay, then you add in a teaspoon of vanilla. This is some vanilla powder that I made with what was left of some vanilla bean um, a while back. It's still pretty effective. Okay. You mix it in. Look at that. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh, that's good. That is chocolatey and nutty and delicious. Okay. Now, go back to your big bowl of checks. Okay. And this is the reason why I sprayed the spatula. 
Okay. So that I can get it. Okay, so I can get it all out. Or as much as possible get it all out. Alright, that's good enough. And then fold I find folding works the best over here. Mm -hmm. And the spread. Mm -hmm. I found folding and then spreading kind of works the best to coat the cereal as much as possible. And you want to get at least 98% of it coated well with chocolate mixture. Okay. Because the powdered sugar is going to stick. This is how you get it to stick. By getting the chocolate coated all over it. Okay. Just get to the bottom. Make sure you get it all up from the bottom. Okay. And then you take a two gallon, okay, and I like to go like this, okay. and then as you can see there's still some chocolate in the bottom, so I do is try to scrape it out the best I can and get it in there. That way it doesn't go to waste. All right. Then you take a cup and a half of powdered sugar. Okay. Just stick it in the bag. Seal the bag real well. Okay. And if you ever need this, honey, your, I don't know, your aggravations out. And right. shake this up. Coat it all really well. Oh, look at that. I look in the bowl to see if it's in the bag and see if it's completely done. I can also, I also find that sometimes some of the cereal gets stuck together a little bit. So I like to kind of take my hands and Try to break up all those little pockets. Uh, um, I think I feel one here. Uh, and uh, just shake it up. Okay. And then I prepared a cookie sheet with some nonstick, uh, nonstick foil. You can use parchment. You can use wax paper. Whatever you want. All uh, right. And then you're going to lay it out on the foil and just let it sit out for a while. You want it to kind of dry up a little bit and, and of course, cool off. You want the chocolate to cool, okay? Sure. You just empty it out. Usually I do two trays, but for today, just going to do one. Right. And then you just kind of spread it out. Okay. If you want, you can take a little bit more powdered sugar afterwards in a little uh, shaker and spread it on the little sections that didn't exactly get it all. Like there are a couple of sections here and here that didn't really get it. Um, Okay. And also, you can also like just I don't know, put some of these sections with the powdered sugar on top of that, just to kind of stick to it or whatever if you want. Okay. And that's it. That's Muddy Buddies or Puppy Chow. So that's it. I mean, simple, simple, simple. Right? A little mixing. A little microwaving, a little shaking. That's all it is. No need to go and buy a three ounce package of it package of it at the supermarket when you can make 
a large batch, nine cups worth, so like two or three of those bags worth, for the price of a couple of bags, you know, a couple of uh, boxes of generic square cereal, okay? Very, very easy, and everybody loves it. When you give people a bag of puppy chow, they are, they, you get big smiles, okay? I know everybody at the store is going to love these, this along with the other goodies. And um, I will, of course, separate out a cup's worth or so for us here because I know it's addictive and I can't control myself around it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my video. Please like it and subscribe to Reese's Cluttered Kitchen and press that little bell and we'll see you again soon. Bye.